All right, the last property that can be applied on the Flex container is the Align Content property. The Align Content property aligns lines of content along the cross axis. This is sort of a mix of justify content and align items. It distributes additional space, but along the cross axis. And a very important condition is that multiple lines or multiple rows must exist within the container. If not, there is no effect. So let's understand the different possible values with the UI. Now, as you can see, I have all the nine items back in the container. And now I'm gonna go back to the CSS file and first make sure to have a height on the container and also enable wrapping. So I'm gonna set height to 800 pixels and set flex wrap to wrap. Now, wrapping is required to force our content into at least two lines. So let's go back to the browser and refresh. And if I reduce the width, you can see that the content wraps into two lines. The align content property is used to align these lines of content within the container. The default value is stretch. You can see both the lines stretch to fill the available space. So if I add the align content property and set the value to stretch, and refresh the browser, you can see that there is no change whatsoever. So stretch is the default value. The second possible value is flex start. So flex start. Now this pulls the lines to the beginning of the cross axis. So if I refresh, you can see that the cross axis runs from top to the bottom. So the content of lines is pushed to the very top flex start, so the start of cross axis. Similarly, we also have flex end, which pushes the content to the end of the cross axis. So refresh, and you can see that the items are towards the end of the cross axis. The content is at the bottom. Now you can also center the content by specifying a value of center. refresh and you can see that the content is now centered. The fourth value is space between. Now this takes all the extra space and puts it in between the lines. Refresh and you can see all the space is in between the two lines. And finally we also have a space around which distributes the space around the lines. So if I refresh you can see that the center portion has twice the space as the edges. So if the space in between is 100 pixels, the space at the edges is 50 pixels each. So the align content property is used to align lines of content along the cross axis and distribute any extra spacing in the parent container. The possible values are flex start, flex end, center, space between, space around, and stretch, which is the default value. In the next video, let's take a look at the flex items properties. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.